I visited one of the countries, the poorer countries in Africa, and we saw little children learning the deen of Allah. They were learning the Quran, they were learning the hadith, they were writing on slates, they were sitting on the sand outside under the trees, and they were in the heat on little, uh, you know, uh, little pieces of uh, cardboard. And they were studying. And the Sheikh who was there, when I told him, you know, can we perhaps maybe try and get a few Qur'ans that these people can read from, we can actually build a place maybe, uh, we can try and organize and arrange for, vol for sponsors and so on. He said, no, not at all, not at all. If we get all of those luxuries, we're going to turn away from Allah. And I was shocked. I was surprised. I said, we're offering these people a roof and air condition, perhaps maybe electricity and various other, they don't want it. And I felt so small because he told me, you guys spend your lives preparing for this life. And we want to spend our lives preparing for the eternal life. And he continued with me. And he says, you know, these children, we teach them the deen and the connection with Allah before we teach them about how to earn money. But I think you guys teach your children and you're more keen on money and worldly matters than developing their link with Allah. So I, I told him, no, maybe you don't know much. Perhaps, you know, a lot of us would send our children to the madrasa and so on. We do have a little bit of deen. He says, think about it carefully. I think a lot of what you guys do is just by the way. It's a sideline. Your main feature is to prepare for this world. He's right. He, as, as difficult as it, as it was for me to admit it, he's right. A lot of us in our lives, guess what? The main feature is just preparing that for the dunya and the luxuries of this world. Don't you agree? So what happens? You will go to school, you will do everything you want to earn, you want to have nice things, but what about your salah? That's not nice. Your Quran, that's not nice. Your knowledge of Arabic you don't know, but you, you've read 2,000 other books. You know, your knowledge of the Quran you don't know, but you've read 20 massive books at university. You know, your knowledge of the deen of Allah, you're not even interested, it's by the way. When people take your children for Islamic studies, you think you paid for those Islamic studies, so you, you suddenly need to have a result, but you don't make an effort with those children, you don't sit with them, and they take too long, and it's by the way, your school homework takes preference over your, your Islamic homework. Just an example, and this is happening, it's, a re it's the real truth. So you want to earn the love of Allah, and you're so indulged and engrossed in this world, that's what this hadith is speaking about. The hadith says, Is had fi dunya yuhibbuk Allah. Turn away from these things of the world, these distractions of the world. Allah will love you because what will happen? You make your focus the deen. Primarily when my kids you know, grow up, initially I should, I should actually instill in them the deen of Allah. How am I going to do that if I don't have it myself? They need to learn the Quran, they need to know their link with Allah before they have the link with, uh, with uh, the rest. You know, We ask Allah's goodness, we ask Allah to grant us forgiveness.